Okay, we're talking about the introduction to a 3-4 tune. Okay, let me just articulate something here on the practice channel for you, the way the bagpipes are usually played. It usually goes something like this. Play like this is, by the way, quick march. One, two, three, four, five. Etc. Et what I suggest you do is you play a short E, two rolls, play right, quick march. One, two, three, four, one, two. And why? Because the natural pulsation of the tune starts on the left foot. Okay, leading up to the tune. I know the way it's written in the book, but it's really not written correctly. The downbeat is on the C. Not on the low A. Etc., etc., okay? So, we're doing the bass drum. If you're doing a two beat E, you're going to have a long wait with the bass drum. This is going to wind up happening. Quick march. One, two, three, four. One, two. E, dun, 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 dun. On the right foot, okay, rather than the left foot for the downbeat. And that's fine, but you're going to have a long duration there before you hit your first downbeat, okay? You don't want this to happen. You're on the wrong foot. You're on the wrong beat, okay? So if you play a short E, which is a little more challenging to do, you wind up being on the right fit. The low A up to the C is on the number three of the bar before. It's just an upbeat, okay? It's not the downbeat. So again, I suggest you do this. By the right, quick march. One, two, three, and one, two. E dun de dun 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 de dun dun de dun de. Now there's your beat. Now bass drummer, I suggest you play a group of six and then a group of five. So this will wind up happening, but right, quick, march. E and one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, three, and four, and five, six, and one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, three, and four, and five, six, and one. So you're tailor making the bass beat to fit the piping and the drumming, everything will come together. You'll show the end of each part like you do in the four fours, okay? Let's do it again. Let's do it this time with a two beat E, which you're probably doing yourselves right now. Quick march. One, two, three. One, two, three. Dun, one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one, and two, three, and four, and five, and one, two, and three, and four, Five and six and one, two, three and four and five. It's not that important that you're on the correct foot. If the band's playing 2BE, that's fine. Just do it. The thing is, where does the accent from the bass drum come? And how does it fit the tune? The battle's over. And one, two, three and four, five, six and one, two and three and four, five, six and one. Two, three, and four, five, six, and one, two, and three, and four, five, six, and one. Now, battle's over. If that's the tune you're playing with Green Hills, you may want to do six and four. It suits the tune a little better. I'll illustrate. Ready? And one, two, three, and four, five, six, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, and one. Two and three and four, five, six and one, two, three. I find myself personally, if I'm doing this, one, two, three and two, two, three and one, two and three and two. That's okay, but it becomes a little too redundant for me after a while. I'd rather hear the music come across and keep hearing that same pulse coming down, boom, wants to be like a funeral march. Okay, this is a little more music by spreading the accent down. One, two, three and four. Five, six, and one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, etc., etc. Okay. Uh, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, and one. But more, 
Okay, that pattern will work. You can mix it up. But that's a good basic pattern to get yourself into those tunes, yeah? Good?